Hello everyone and welcome back to Song of Horror, this time for part 2. First off, thank you very much for the support on the first video and for voting on who I should play in this video because as you can see, Sophie is no longer with us. Sophie made a mistake and she paid for it with her life. And despite the many comments that I received saying I should go back and right my wrong, not go into Saul's room and keep her alive, no, that's not how I'm going to play the game. Sophie is gone. She's dead and she's not coming back. But don't get me wrong, she did some good work, but somebody else is going to need to go in, pick up the pieces and continue her journey where she left it. Now who is that person going to be? Is it going to be Alina, the electrical technician? Is it going to be Alexander, the housekeeper? Or is it going to be Daniel's supervisor, Etienne? It's not going to be him, and it's not going to be... Alina. It's going to be Alexander. I think you guys have chosen him because he's the housekeeper. He has the most relation to the mansion and the family. Perhaps he has some, uh, maybe he's got some insider knowledge, some insight that other characters wouldn't know about. It seems he's got a leather hip flask and he, uh, he really likes that. <laughs> he's a bit of a scaredy cat though, so um, I make no promises, but I'm going to try and keep this one alive. Here we go. So how is this going to work? I'm going to need to find the keys, right? I'm going to need to find all the items. Hmm. Oh. The controller's rumbling already. Oh no. I'm panicking just opening the gate. Okay, just like Sophie, he's bringing a candle. And right, let's see. Yeah, the victim is no longer part of the story. Sorry, Sophie. Ah. I see. Every item in their inventory will drop to the ground. I, okay, so let's look for that exclamation point. Let's see. So, I've already got a map. I suppose that makes sense. I'm the housekeeper. I've been here many times before. Right, I don't have to go inside Saul's room, but just outside, that's where I'm going to find the items. I suppose that's where I'm going first. Okay. So, let's see. Saul's tricycle. Right. Yeah, he knows. He knows. I think you guys have chosen well, honestly. I still think it's Sebastian's. <laughs> okay. So, uh... Oh, right. Of course, the alarm. The electricity wasn't on before. And he knows the code. Very good choice. So if I was entering as Etienne, I suppose I wouldn't know the code. I wouldn't know how to shut that off. What would happen? Probably nothing good. <laughs> anyway, let's head upstairs. Right, need to find that painting. I did go through my footage of the first video and I, I did look for any oval shaped paintings, but nothing really came up. So I guess I haven't found it yet. Right, so... Oh, hang on. Oh! Oh. Those are the items? What's this bag doing here? <laughs> well, you can probably find out momentarily if you go into Saul's room, but I'm not going to do that again. It looks like the scented candle's still here, so that's interesting. Anyway, so let's see. Every item? And every document, that's great. Right, so, what the hell are we doing? Mash's key, my wife's key. Do I use that? Do I create the other one? Still got some haiku folders, matchbox, the hip flask. How does this work exactly? I've got one use left. Vodka always assured me a moment of peace. <laughs> Alright, so, um... I'll save that for later, maybe. Let's see if we can get into the study. Let's see if we can create that key. Yeah, I am going to do my best to keep this guy alive. Maybe I can get to the end of the episode without, you know, suffering any more losses. It is a pity about Sophie, really. Okay. Already. Already I'm freaking out. My heart rate is going mad, just based off of the rumbling of the controller. Calm the fuck down, Alexander. Right, so, use this. Yeah. Alright, thank god I managed to open the door. Now listen, because I am hearing strange noises. How's your hearing? <laughs> Is it good? Let's hope so, because I don't hear anything. 
Man, that'll be interesting. Maybe at some point we'll play as a deaf character. That's like hardcore mode or something. What's this? Looks like a hook. Because it's a hook. Hmm. An expandable metal hook. And he knows. He's got this insight. This insider knowledge. We use it to open the attic door. So that's what I'm going to use it for. Uh, but first... What's this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Dear Sebastian, everything is falling apart. I don't know what's happening to my telephone, but I can't seem to reach you, which is why I'm writing this. As I do, I pray that it is not too late. Sebastian, do not listen to the music box. I repeat, do not listen to that music box. Something is wrong with that melody. I hear it over and over in my head. While I walk, when I read, while I eat or sleep, even in my dreams. And these are getting worse and worse. I feel observed, Sebastian. At first it only happened in my dreams, but lately I also feel it while I'm awake. Although I find it increasingly hard to tell the difference these days. There's something here with me. A strange presence. In the halls, behind each door I turn my back to. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm so sorry, my dear friend. I cursed the day I sent you that box. Isaac Farber. Fair enough. Okay. And there's something over here too. Old papers belonging to Mr. Sebastian. They should be in the rubbish bin. Hmm. <laughs> well, if you want to keep up with the housekeeping work, I mean, be my guest, but uh, I think we've got more pressing matters. So, I got the hook. Do I go into the attic now? I mean, I guess I could. I want to use Mash's key, though. I want to use my wife's key. Hmm. It is right there. Okay. I can't listen to this one, so let's just go straight through. Okay, so let's see, it's up there. But maybe I need to use it down here? Okay. Alright! I need to have a look in the attic. Oh, that's right, he's Russian. Oh, Sophie actually saw some stuff that I think was written in another language or was Russian. Perhaps this guy can actually read it. Again, you guys chose well. <laughs> oh dear. I'm so sorry, Alexander. I'm going to get you killed. <laughs> okay, there's crying to my right, so... Let's maybe stay away from that area. What's this? That... Ah, oh, that's got to be it, right? The painting from 1798. It must be the one they removed from the stairway. There you go. He knows. So it's... The decade in the year, right? So it's uh, 98. So it's 4, Abbott Road. 7, that's the age of Saul. And then 98. So it's 4, 7, 9, 8. That's going to be the combination. Alright, good to know. Should I leave? I feel I should leave. But curiosity is going to kill this cat. Okay. Uh, I suppose that's not really going to help. Maybe that's just a, a red herring. Got the window here. Maybe I can get down to the master bedroom on the scaffolding. I'm going to simply go out of the right window. I see. So that's not the right window? Is this the right window? <sighs> well, no. No, no. Well, you know what? I suppose I do have the document about the, um... There it is. The elevation plan. Scaffolding goes here. Okay. Right. I see. The front of the house, is that on the... I think that might be on the right side. I'm just trying to work this out. So I went up the stairs, I came back on myself. I went towards the building face, I suppose. Okay, I think the two windows that we were just looking at um, are the ones on the right of this elevation plan, so they would lead to no scaffolding. It looks like the right windows might be where the crying's coming from. Oh dear. Oh what? dear. Julius, is that you? Don't be fooled, old man. That's the dark presence. Julia and Saul's cradle. Masha and I, we were never able to have children. The Lord works in mysterious ways. He certainly does. Oh, that's interesting. I can kind of use Julia here. Maybe let's try the wheelchair out. <laughs> I might need it in a moment. Oh no, it's not the wheelchair. It's another painting. Oh, I'm going to bite the bullet here, aren't I? Julia, 
It's me, Alex. Are you alright? What's that? What? What is this? Let's find out. Hush's haikus. Oh. Oh, right. A crying friend, a parting gift, but only if they're themselves. Oh, I see. Right, I, I think I've just completed the set. Yeah, because I picked up three and two before, didn't I? Well done, Sophie. Still can't actually use these. Cheers, Julia. Thanks for not fucking killing me, I guess. Julia, where are you? Maybe that wasn't the presence. Okay. Uh, so let's see, there's a, an easel here. For Mrs. Catherine, okay. Oh my god. My controller. <laughs> my heartbeat. <laughs> anyway, I think this is actually the right window. So maybe I should? Yeah. Eh, it looks like a flat enough roof. I don't think you're going to fall to your death. Okay, cool. Careful, Alexander. You're not young anymore. No. No, you're not. What's this? Good for nothing workers. They never finished the job and left a huge mess in the middle of everything. Bastards. Are we going up? No. No, we probably... Yeah, we want to go down. Man, right. Yeah. It is a shame about Sophie. Don't get me wrong, but... I think I'm enjoying playing as Alexander a little bit more because he knows more. Etienne, I suppose if he came in, if he got through the alarm and, you know, he didn't get taken away by the police, uh, he wouldn't know what the fuck's going on at all, right? Okay. So where are we? Ah. So this is our way through that locked door. We go around it. Can I listen? No, let's just go through. Mrs. Catherine? Marsha? Hmm. He still thinks his wife's here. I don't think she is, or at least I hope not. Okay. Those notebooks are a treasure for them, apparently. Where is everybody? Is that a note? Da. Yeah. Please come back. We can't leave the house. And that's Catherine that wrote that. What's up with the bed? Okay. It's not been used any time recently. That you know of. Oh. You could fit under the table, really. Okay, my heart rate is accelerating. R rapidly, it feels like, and it sounds like. Ooh. That's a doll, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, this one wearing a hat. <laughs> oh, it's a shower cap. Mash is apparently so good at sewing. And that's actually kind of calmed me down. I guess that kind of makes sense. All fogged up. Hmm. All the mirrors are fogged up or broken. So hang on. Okay, so it's the it's the door behind me that was locked. Mm -hmm. Now I can go through. Fantastic. Not quite yet though. What's this? Can I listen at the door? Yes, good. It sounds fine to me, so yeah, we're gonna go in. Okay, looks like there's a... Oh, there we go, a broken mirror. For the love of God. And there's another note, letter? A letter. Okay, from Isaac again. It says, Sebastian, I received the box again. I can't even stand to look at it, but still, I hear it's music. After returning it to me, has anything changed? Do you feel better? If so, maybe I should do the same, don't you think? I should try to find the previous owner, if that's even possible. Have you discovered anything? Please, do tell me. I can't sleep or stay awake. I feel a presence. There is something here with me. Yeah, get rid of the box, man. Well, I suppose I should be glad that it's not here. But, you know, I guess it's just tormenting Isaac or whoever he gives it to. I guess it's going to be, you know, like these people and those areas that we go to in the following episodes. I really like how this is structured. There's something else in the corner over here, right? What's that? Oh, okay. Albums. Sure. Are we done here? I guess we're done. So we've got three of these dolls. I think if we just take a look at... Uh, <laughs> it's going to be one of these. Julia and Saul's... Notes. Here we are. 
On the back, I think. Yeah, Saul wrote that I will hide the key in the dollhouse and I will hide the five dolls too. So there's two more dolls. One's going to be in the safe, which I suppose I should head down to. Um, don't know where the other one's going to be. But right, okay. I think we're done here. Okay. Right. Whoop. Ah! <sighs> fucking hell. <laughs> Should we have a look? My heart rate is fucking going mental. It must have died in an instant. Right, just leave, just in case. Just stupid bird. Yeah, stupid bird, stupid bird. I was just about to say, nothing scary's happened yet. <laughs> Touch wood, but yeah. I uh, I do pick my moments, don't I? Okay, yeah. Let's go down. Let's go down. And, uh... Let's not freak out. Actually, maybe my heart rate is accelerating because I'm running around as well. Maybe that doesn't help. Maybe I should just be walking around calmly. Or taking a quick swig with vodka. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, through here? That's right. Okay, so I can either use Mash's key if I go through the garage, or I could go down to the basement. I think I'm going to go down to the basement. Okay. Down we go. Not too far to go. There it is. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Four Abbott Road. And then it's going to be 7 for Saul's age. And then it's going to be 98, I believe. Is that right? I think it was 98. Yeah. Hey, there you go. And it's the doll. Great. Uh, this one's got glasses and two hair buns. <laughs> she looks very intellectual that way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's it. Nothing here that I want to take. Okay. I am out of here. <gasps> Masha? <laughs> okay, I take back what I said. I am down here. I am going to find somewhere to hide, because there's someone to hide down here, right? Not in there. Someone's already taken that one. A whole person fits inside. Do you want to maybe try it out? No? Shit. Okay. You've got to wonder with this dynamic AI, with the presence, would that happen to another character? In another circumstance? I don't know. I suppose if you get lucky, you'll go through and you won't have anything to worry about. But if you get unlucky, there's, you know, threats around every corner. I like that about this game. No two playthroughs are going to be quite the same. Right. Through here? That's the garage, right? Okay, and we're out. <laughs> and fuck you, Pasha Mansion. I'm out of here. No, no, I'm gonna go around. <laughs> I'm just trying to be really quiet, listening for something bad. Okay, listen. Before you unlock anything, listen. Again, it sounds good. So, I got that key, yeah? Oh no, that's okay. I've got Mash's key, and there it is. Uh huh. Hmm. All right. I, I believe you. <laughs> I believe you more than Sophie when she threw away the fucking master key. Okay. Uh, what's this? Here, Mash and I write down our chores for each day. Lucky you. So it's just a connecting hallway to that locked door. Okay. And then there's two other rooms we have access to. Let's just go and uh, unlock the door. If possible, hang on. Sleeping pills. When she worries about something, she always ends up taking them. I rely on vodka. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Now I can go through. Good. Just in case, you know, just in case I do need to make a speedy getaway. So, um, this one. Sounds good. 
Sounds like nothing. Oh shit! Sounded like nothing! Is that Masha? Wait, is that. Yes. It's Sophie. How did you get in the house? Um. Just leave. Just. just go. I give up. I give up. Okay. Alright, we're gonna leave that room. We're gonna come back to it later. Let's listen to this door, shall we? Calm your heart rate. I can't hear anything over your heartbeat. Doesn't really sound like there's anything in there though, so let's go in. Okay, what have we got in here? Clean, dry sheets, but dusty. They were never taken off the line. Doesn't that calm you down? Doesn't that settle your heart rate? It does to me. Stain remover, okay. Oh, an item? Solvent. Universal Thinnet. Oh, and there's plenty left inside. I was looking for an accelerant, wasn't I? As Sophie. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Okay. What's this? Oh, hang on. What's this? The basin in the laundry room is full of filthy black water. No. No. No, don't do it. Don't do it. I don't like the look of this. Okay, so it's just that. Is that it? Okay. Okay, let's leave. There's probably something in there. Maybe the last doll's in there or something? Maybe I should do it. Ah, uh, okay. Let's try this room again. Before I go, you know, getting my hands stuck and drowning or something. I can't listen. I can't fucking listen. And she's gone. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. That's awesome. That was really cool. Masha's old sewing machine. It was a gift from her mother who brought it from Russia. There you go. Oh! There it is. There you go. Okay, so this one, uh, this one has a nose. It's the only one with a nose. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> a note from Masha to her husband. Me! Alexander, I wish you never had to find this note. I left the house, or at least I tried. I pray that this is not the last time you hear from me. I haven't seen Mrs. Catherine or the children in days. Sometimes I hear them crying upstairs, but I never find them. They always seem to be in the room next door, even if such a room doesn't exist. There's something horrendous here with us, something that I can't describe. I barely dare to leave our room anymore. I have to go before it's too late. I love you, Masha. So there's a ch- oh, hang on. Where are you? There's a chance that she did actually make it out of this, I suppose? Nothing on the back, okay. I was just wondering. Somewhere else to hide? Our uh, closet, it's empty. Convenient. Sounds good, I'm going in. And hopefully no one pops up to say hi. Oh, okay. Um, towels? Dirty, moldy towels. This is not normal for Masha. Well, she's gone, hasn't she? I think that's it. Yep, nothing else to have a look at. Let's be off. So I've got the dolls. I suppose that's probably the next thing I want to try. Or maybe I should get the fire going? Hang on a minute. Alright. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Now I think we are actually done. Yeah, let's go for the door. Back outside, or down this way? I think down this way, the shortcut, yeah. <laughs> I'm always somewhat nervous when I can't listen through a door. But as, you know, we just got a good example of, sometimes it doesn't really matter. Sometimes, even if you don't hear anything, you're gonna see something. Okay. I haven't actually had to delve into the vodka yet, I'm very glad to say. So, it was one of these two rooms, right? Sophie had to run in here. I think it's this one. It's this one, that's right. And I guess it's gonna be safe? 
<laughs> right, so. I've got all five dolls. I suppose what I should really do is have a look at that document again. Here we are. So. One will be hungry, so her friend will make dinner for her. Uh, another one will read while her mum takes a shower. Well, there is one with a shower cap. And there's one with glasses who look like an intellectual, right? So, the ugly one, the one that I found in the toilet, will watch the door so nobody comes in. Okay. Let's give that a go. So, where is the front door exactly? Bottom left? Probably not bottom right. Um, okay, so, you, shower cap. You go there. That's right. Uh, you've got glasses. So you probably go there. I'm not so sure about you two. Right, you. You've got to be the ugly one. And unless people, you know, enter this house from the fucking attic, I'm going to put you down here. Didn't Sophie make a comment that one of them looked like she was hungry, or anorexic, or something like that. I can't remember which one it was. I guess it was probably this one, because I only just got that one. So you... Okay, you're going to be in the kitchen, right? Because you're making your friend something to eat, and you're going to be, what? In the dining room? Ha <laughs> ha! There you go! Okay! The little door. Saul must have put the key there. Great. I've got an old key. A heavy metal key. And it's not from the house. I've never seen it in my life. It's an old key to an old door. Maybe I should go back to the dining room. Or the, the room that's next to the dining room. Where Daniel disappeared. Maybe the door's gonna be back. Or well, maybe I should get the fire going. I mean, yeah, let's get the- ah! Oh! Shh. Oh, mother of God! Oh dear. Can you leave? Okay. Maybe I should be hiding, actually. Oh dear. You know what? Yeah, go back inside. Go back inside real fucking quick. Come on, come on. Hide, you idiot. That's right, hide. Okay, so... Let's see how this works. Calm down, man. Calm down. Your heart rate shouldn't be going too high. You're an old geezer. Settle down. This is a lot harder. Are you okay? Jesus fucking Christ. I guess that's probably something to do with the serenity level. I fucked up a couple times, I got the timing uh, uh, wrong, but... Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Damn, okay. <laughs> so where was I? I was gonna go down and start a fire. I've got no idea why, but I guess there's going to be some purpose to it, right? <sighs> I'm actually sweating a little bit. <laughs> this is this is pretty nerve-wracking playing this game because you just don't know what the fuck's going to happen next. It's very unpredictable. Um. So yeah, through here. I don't think I can ever listen through this door, can I? I'm not going to see Sophie or Masha or Catherine, no. <laughs> oh boy. Here we are then. Right, so the firewood's already down there, so I think I should just add the solvent. There you are. Yeah. And then, still got the matches, right? Perfect. Right. We've got a good fire going. Would this be a safe area now? Well, let's see. The solvent stinks bad, more than when Masha and I clean the toilets, really, okay. Um, is it marked on the map or something? No? Okay. 
Do I still? No, I don't have the matches either. I've got an old key and my vodka, which I probably should swig. I kind of want to take a swig right now, just in case I don't get another chance. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Do some of these characters turn up in later episodes? I mean, maybe if they're kept alive. Maybe. Anyway. Oh, wait, can you play the piano? I wonder if he still is. Can you give it a little go? All right, fair enough. <laughs> maybe it was Alina. Maybe she's the pianist. Oh, fuck. Okay. Bye. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <laughs> yep, we're leaving. We're going. We're okay. What? Well, we'll yeah, my heart rate's going again. I am gonna stand by the fire and take a swig of vodka. I, I can't help it. I've got to do it. Use it. Ah, yeah. Okay, that that did actually settle my heart rate. But, um, that was it. Oh, man. Haven't you got some stored around here? Somewhere hidden away? Alright. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, God, you're still here. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> What's even worse is that I can use you. I don't know if I want to, to be honest. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. If the door's there, so is the present, so fuck that. Okay, what's this? There's a piece of paper over here on the side. Mm -hmm. It says, aid us, save us, we are doomed. Is that supposed to be Catherine, do you think? Mother of God, what is this horrific thing? I don't know. What's this? I did actually notice this while editing. I didn't have a look at this with Sophie. Oh, this is somewhere else to hide, is it? So it is. Cool, cool. Presence, you still in there? Yeah. <laughs> That's a shame. Um, okay. Alright, so seriously, what do I do now? I've got an old key to a door that I think's in there. Is there a light switch around here? I mean, the... the the lights aren't on. Oh, wait, hang on. That wasn't smashed before. For the love of God, yet again, yeah. That's real fucking weird. Okay, let's just... Let's just explore. What else has changed? Has something else changed? Maybe the door's not going to be in that place. Maybe it's... You know, maybe it emerges on different walls. Through here? Maybe. Uh, I can't listen, but go on. Okay. Uh, what was the purpose of cleaning this up, by the way? Holy mother of God. Oh. How many of these things are there? I didn't notice that in the darkness. God, I don't know. But hang on, that looks like another slip of paper. Mm. Bound and slave to its desire. Okay. Um... Okay, so that's not an item, that is a document that we're creating. Two old pieces of paper. Is there a third? A fourth? A fifth? How many? I'm not marking these on the map. Okay, let's just... let's just re-explore. It might be worth it. Right, so this is where I found the firewood. There's the axe. I can't pick up the axe, though. I think I'd probably try and chop those to pieces if, uh, if it was me. I was half expecting it to be gone. You better fucking not come to life. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Really want to take another swig of vodka. You must have some stored away. Some hidden away. Come on. Where is it? <laughs> Maybe in here. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe amongst the preserves. Mm. Uh, nice. Okay, so nothing in here. No, um... No strange, life-size model of Catherine. Russian cookbooks, right? Right, okay. <laughs> Even though I'm Russian myself, I still can't read them. Um...
Maybe I should have a look at pulling the plug out in that sink. Yeah. I'll, I'll explore on the way there, but I think that's where I'm heading. Oh, I don't know, that doesn't... That's, that seems so fucking fishy. I've played The Conjuring House. I know what happens when you sort of put your arm down into water that you can't see through. It's not just The Conjuring House, it's many games. It's a bit of a trope, really. Um... Ah. Ooh! Well, that's different. Let's ignore that, because I think if I maybe get close to it, something bad's gonna happen. Let's just go and... Yeah, let's go and take a whiz. <laughs> oh, boy. So, nothing strange in here, just another smashed mirror. And again, for the love of God, he just can't bear it, can he? No leaving for me. Um... Okay, this way. Maybe the basement? Nah, I don't want to go to the basement. Maybe through here. Yeah, I, yeah unless there's like nothing else for me to do, I'm not going to go back to that sink. Everything okay in here? Yeah? Okay. What about this room? Seems fine. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll check out the basement. If that doesn't work, I'll head upstairs. I haven't had to listen through any doors in a while, which is good on one hand, but also kind of strange on the other. Alright, it's basement time. <laughs> Seems like the light's fixed. My heart rate's going again. I don't really know why. Maybe there's something in the darkness that I just can't see. I assume I'm just looking for another Catherine, right? I'm looking for another wooden model. I'm looking for more pieces of paper. But they're not here. And I've got to be honest, I'm kind of shocked that no one's fucked the electricity up. I'd have thought that I'd have to go through that puzzle again at some point, but... Nope. Not this time. Maybe on other playthroughs, though. Alright. Is the door still a painting? Yeah, fuck. <laughs> okay, we're going upstairs, and nothing's gonna stop me. Um, okay, so... I t what was in this room? Oh, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, let's check it out. Seems fine. Um, hang on. Can I turn that on again? Looks like the presence maybe turned it off. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. Do you know about the suitcases? Like, what's going on here? Ah, uh, Masha began to pack her bags but never finished. There you go! Is that insight that you just don't get from the other characters. Maybe now I should go to Saul's room. Because the presence is downstairs, right? It... Gonna be in two places at once? Probably. <laughs> Probably, honestly. This is where I found the dishcloth. Another broken mirror. For the love of God! <laughs> okay. The playroom. The dollhouse. No, nothing's changed. Hmm. 
There's got to be another piece of paper somewhere. There's got to be another model somewhere. I would think it could be in the master bedroom. Maybe in the attic? Maybe in the study? Let's go to the study. There's one. Is that the last one? Ah, my heart rate. It, it went straight up as soon as I saw it. There's another piece of paper. What does this one say? Help us make it pull us through. Again, nothing but stains on the back. Okay. In here? Nope. Everything's normal. Uh, yeah. The master bedroom. I'm going to the master bedroom. Or maybe the balcony? Nah, nah. It wouldn't be the balcony. It wouldn't be outside for everyone to see, would it? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Just have to step over your corpse. Okay. Well, yeah, my heart rate didn't go up, so I guess... Oh, I was gonna say, I guess he didn't fucking see anything. Oh, it's opening! No, 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 no. Stop. That's it, that's it. Go, 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 go. Uh... Oh. Shit. I'm actually trying to pull it, not push it this time. Okay, this guy's strong, so he should be good at this. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Fuck. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Listen. That's where the presence is. Maybe because it's here now, it's not going to be down by the dining room. I don't know. Are we done with this? Three old pieces of paper. It doesn't seem complete yet. Maybe there's another couple. There were five dolls, right? Maybe there's five pieces of paper. Let's listen to this one as well. I just want to listen to all the doors now. No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Shit. Just when you think you're going to get away scot-free, something happens. Through here. What's the point of the fire? Do we need the heat? Do we need the light? Do we need to burn these? They're made of wood, right? Fuck. Okay, it's still there. So now maybe it's not in the ensuite to the master bedroom? Oh, Jesus Christ! Everything that is good. Oh my God! You really don't want me to go in the master bedroom, do you? Fucking hell! Okay, again, again. Get in here. Yeah. <laughs> I've used this many times. Hey, you idiot! <laughs> Come on. I got through this once before. Well, twice before, I suppose, if you count so. Oh boy! All right. Alright, no fuck-ups this time. Come on. Oh, shit. You have to test me, don't you? I think maybe I only fucked up once there. I think I'm getting the hang of that. It's it's harder with him, but yeah, it's okay. It is as if I had seen the fires of hell itself. Yeah, that's twice now that you've got through that. You're doing better than Sophie, really. Maybe I do need to go back in here. Fuck. Right. Let's start with Saul's room. Listen, don't go in. No. They're still in there. Three of them are in there now, I assume. Forget about it. This one? All right. <laughs> Anything in the toilet? Jesus, that toilet stinks. <laughs> Saw must have done this. That little whippersnapper. 
What about Julia's room? Again, can't listen. Nothing. I've been through every single room now, pretty much. I haven't, well, I haven't had a look at the ensuite in the master bedroom. It really doesn't want me to go in there. Which is maybe why I should go there. Or I guess I could just delve into the sink and pull out the plug, but that just seems like a trap. Let's try this again. Okay, I'm not listening. I'm just going through. Nothing's gonna stop me. Not even the body of a dead crow. Okay. Open this fucking door. Ah, that's why. Because you're in here. I've been looking for you everywhere. Okay, another piece of paper. Toss the dark one in the fire. Okay, now it's known as an old sheet of paper. Maybe we're done. Help us make it. Pull us through. Toss the dark one in the fire. The dark one of these? I don't know if I could do that if I was playing as like a Lena. It might mean the dolls. There's the, the really, really dark one that I found in the toilet. <laughs> the one that Saw created. Right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose it's got to fit in the fireplace and that explains why we got the fire going. Okay. My heartbeat is still going rapid though. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Still haven't found any more vodka either. I'm disappointed in you, Alexander. Maybe Masha took it. Well, Masha didn't pack all of her bags. Maybe she packed one full of vodka. I really do like this room in this video, don't I? Keep coming back here. Right. Ah, yes. There you are. I'm going to take it and I am going to burn it. With, uh as much malice as I can provide. Alright, quickly. Okay. Oh, shit. I keep hearing shit through doors. and Man, okay, go in here. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Get to the fireplace. Burn it. Yep. It's just like the Conjuring House. <laughs> Yeah, can you... Oh, you can use stuff. Good, good. Well, in it goes. I'm glad it meant the doll and not Etienne. Burn in hell, demon. Yeah, that's right. There's nothing but ash left from the sinister doll. <sighs> Burn the place to the ground while you're at it, just in case. Maybe the dark presence will leave then. Although, the box isn't here. It's It sticks with the box, I think. So, now we're kind of back to square one. I've got this old key, and that's it. Because these two I can't use. It's got to be to the door that, that Daniel went through. And I haven't found it anywhere else. Oh. Oh, okay, a couple of things. The Dark Presence is no longer through there. I can see through. And uh, the wooden model is gone. Does that mean the door's back? The door's back! You would know. Am I going to make the same mistake? I suppose I've got to, haven't I? Ah, oh, shit. I think I have to. Locked. This can't be real. Am I having a nightmare? Well, you soon will be. Use it. You're going to throw it away? Fair enough. Ah, oh, shit. What? Sorry, Alexander. Oh, it's not going into a cutscene this time. I can actually go down? Ooh. Alright. Oh, dear lord. Please guard me. Where am I? I don't know. I j actually, what does the map say? Elsewhere. We're just elsewhere. <laughs> what is this place? How did I get 
here. Can't use the door. What's that? What is this? Where am I? Again, can't use it. I'm seeing a lot of crosses. There was JC I just passed back there. I can use this door. Jesus Christ. Oh God. Daniel, right. Is he okay? Help! I need help! I suppose it's only been like three days, right? So. They finally found me. Right! I was feverish, dehydrated, and terrified. But alive. I don't remember much about the ride to the hospital, but I did mumble a few questions about the music box. I had heard it. The endless, grim song it played wouldn't stop hammering in my brain. I would even swear I'd seen it there on the table, on the other side of the mirror. No, no, impossible. There was no box. It was just a hallucination, a mirage. I needed to rest, that was all. Just rest. Bit of a shame that it wasn't Sophie coming to your rescue. Oh. I guess the episode's not over yet. Okay, I think I want to be moved to another hospital, if you don't mind. Oh, Father and Sons, Antiques, Books, oh! Oh, I think this might be where the the box is now. Oh right, I think we're actually maybe moving on to episode two. I'm not going to play that right now though. I think what I'll do is I'll wait until the game's released on October the 31st, 2019, or at least a little bit closer to then. Um, yeah, I think the first two episodes will both be released on Halloween, and then the third episode comes out on December, the fourth comes out January, and then I think the fifth and final one comes out, I think it's March of 2020. So we won't have to wait too long to get the full game. But um, yeah, I think for now this is where I leave Song of Horror, and if the following episodes are anything like the first one, then we're all in for a treat. I suppose, just like with the first video, what I'll leave you with is a question. Who shall I play as? at the beginning of episode 2, at the very least. Now, who's going to be the first victim? Maybe I should ask that. Is it going to be Alexander? Because I managed to keep him alive. Is it going to be... <laughs> Is it going to be Erica Fava, Miss T-Pose? We have another new character. Is it going to be Renee, a cop who brings a flashlight? Is it going to be Daniel? I can play as Daniel again now. That's cool. Is it going to be... Okay. All right, it's just those four. Although, maybe it shouldn't have to be just those four? Like, maybe if I kept Sophie alive, she would be a choice? If so, whoops. I'm so sorry, but I'm adamant that I'm keeping her dead. She's not coming back. Sorry. So yeah, Alexander, Miss T-Pose, Renee, or Daniel. Who am I going to play as in episode two? Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm panicking just opening the gate. And he knows the code. How's your hearing? <laughs> Is it good? Oh dear. Oh dear. Cheers, Julia. And thanks for not fucking killing me, I guess. Mash is apparently so good at sewing. And that's actually kind of calmed me down. I guess that kind of makes sense. Okay. I, oh. Ah! <sighs> Fucking hell. I am out of here. <gasps> Masha? When she worries about something, she always ends up taking them. I rely on vodka. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds like nothing. <gasps> oh shit! Uh -huh. Sounded like nothing! They were never taken off the line. Doesn't that calm you down? Doesn't that settle your heart rate? And you're gonna be, what? In the dining room? Ha! <laughs> well, maybe I should get the fire going. I mean, yeah, let's get. Ah! Oh! Are you okay? Jesus fucking Christ. I guess that's probably something to do with the serenity level. Alright, fair enough. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Okay. Bye. Mother of God. Oh. How many of these things are there? I didn't notice that in the darkness. You better fucking not come to life. <laughs> um. Ooh. Well, that's different. Another broken mirror. For the love of God. <laughs> There's one. Okay. Well, yeah, my heart rate didn't go up, so I guess... Oh, Jesus Christ! I haven't, well, I haven't had a look at the ensuite in the master bedroom. It really doesn't want me to go in there. Which is maybe why I should go there. Ah, that's why. Sorry, Alexander. Oh, it's not going into a cutscene this time. I can actually go down? Ooh. Whoa. Okay. I think I want to be moved to another hospital, if you don't mind.